I'm going to be discussing five AI websites that will help you with literature review, be it systematic literature review or narrative literature review. So the first website, as you can see, is SciSpace. It's also called Typeset. And if you can see here, you have many tools like literature review, and then you have Copilot, which will help you read with AI. And then we have Citation Generator, Paraphraser, AI Detector, among others. And we also can have extensions on Google Chrome. So let's start with the search. So this one is a search database. It's a large corpus that contains a lot of papers with regard to research. So uh, suppose I'm uh, interested in liquor scale data analysis. I would just type liquor scale data analysis and then click enter and see what I will have on the results section. So here the results are being uh, gradually uh, uploaded. And here you could see that there is a summary of the top five uh, results. So here it says that the liquor scale is commonly used in social sciences research for measurement purposes. There are different approaches to analyzing liquor scale data. One study suggests the use of a RAC partial credit model and RAC rating scale model to interpret liquor scale survey uh, scores accurately. And here we have the study. So this is good. And then another study. Uh, highlights the importance of using a measurement instrument with an odd number of response choices such as five point liquor scale for better reliability and validity coefficients and we have the study uh, i would like to have these uh, let's say uh, studies customized in the sense that i could just have them on uh, apa format rather than this format so that would be uh, better compared to uh, the one uh, that we have now and here, if you can see, I, I can sort the studies by relevance, by citation count to test their impact, by their recency or date, news first or oldest first, or alphabetically speaking. I can also download the results in CSV file so that I don't need to copy and paste that into an Excel spreadsheet. So here I can just filter the open access uh, meaning the sources that I can directly access and the ones that can have PDF attached to them. And I can also ask follow-up questions with regard to the summary. So this will just open a dialog box in which I could add this uh, question or these questions. Here we have saved results if I want to save this so that I can go back to it later. So this is the... Uh, platform and this is how it looks like. I could add more, more filters like journal article, ch book chapter, among others. And then I could also uh, check these studies from here. And from here I can add columns. Let's say I want to add uh, methods used, literature, uh, survey, and the results, let's say uh results so here i added all of these columns just with this uh, click of a button here i could just uh, toggle the window so that i can see uh these columns so uh, i could just screen this uh, on the platform or as i said i could download it on s uh, let's say csv or excel uh let's say format so that I can investigate this further, uh, providing you the researchers with many functionalities. Some sometimes can be overwhelming. So here like this one, I could, for example, highlight anything and I could uh, uh, ask Copilot about it and then it will answer the questions or the requests. Okay. So this is, this is it. I could just see the related papers, the references, the authors, the related topics. I could also cite this article. If I want journal article, book, book chapter, it will be better if 
these functionalities are integrated to allow the ease of use and this will just save a lot of time instead of doing some mechanical tasks also have paraphraser this can paraphrase some documents it's like quillbolt the famous uh, uh, let's say ai chatbot that is used for paraphrasing and we have ai detector this has been just added to see whether the text has been uh, uh, containing some cases of AI generated content. So anyways, this is how we can just check uh, uh, those features. So you could also discover more features with regard to site space. Now we move to Elicit, which is more or less similar to uh, site space. This one can help you more with systematic literature reviews. Let's say Likert scale techniques. And it is searching for papers, then summarizing them and giving you the final answer. This one seems to be uh, more natural in terms of the EPA style. The references are verifiable. Uh, which is good so it is not providing you with uh, fake references you could check them also on other websites even using the DOI which is the digital object identifier so here we could just go back and then we could just uh, see how we can look for as you can see there is one remark which is uh, the fact that it takes too much time to load so uh, its responsiveness is slow compared to uh, typeset or site space so this can be an issue with regard to doing research in an efficient way so here we could also have list of uh, concepts and then we have extract data from pdfs in case we have some pdfs we can chat with them instead of reading them and then we have find papers so it is a search engine at the same time uh, we can just uh, type a search let's say liquid scale data analysis and click ok now it is searching for papers then it will summarize them then it will provide the final answer and here, as you can see, we can sort these uh, results, let's say, based on most recent results or most cited. Let's go for the most cited ones and or for the most uh, recent, say 2020. And here we could also download these CSV file, etc. But they added this plus uh, feature for researchers to... Uh, I don't know so this is becoming not free in some uh, cases uh, I I may think that with time the whole website may become a not free website so this is one uh, remark one prediction here I could also choose many filters like has PDF meta-analysis etc and the keywords inclusion and exclusion criteria here I could also add columns, let's say intervention, outcome, measure. So Elicit is more tailored and fine-tuned for researchers in the medical field and the clinical trials and not for human sciences because it just tests the interventions, the uh, different uh, designs, especially experimental and quasi-experimental designs. But in general, let's say now it's good to summarize results. So it is more or less like uh, size space. The, the other website is PowerDrill. As you can see here, it has different apps. And in the uh, essay generator, it, it just give it a prompt and it can generate the text. And here it's the number of characters. So it's more or less like ChatGPT. And it's not adding something that is new here so this is for the essay writing 
I could just do simple chat in which case I will just ask it about virtual reality for instance and then I could interact with it and then I have credit of texts or rather messages so here it just uh, provides the basic definitions without any citations or references but that can be prompted further it's more or less like chat gpt it's still it is still limited and it can provide you with data set analysis etc it can also uh, provide you with many functionalities at once as if it is containing many websites in one website it's like a database of ai tools uh, this is the power drill website in brief you could discover it further as you can see and you can try with it then the other website is jenny uh, website so this website also can assist with writing uh, summaries of papers and researching the literature so here we could also import our libraries if we have the pdf files or we could uh, just get uh, simple prompts and start let's say asking it from from scratch like new document and then as you can notice these features are hidden so you need to just keep scrolling and uh, navigating the website till you find them so here we could say uh, we are writing about liquor scale data analysis techniques so here this is weak prompt add more context for higher quality in psychology uh, research what is good about it is that it is assessing the prompt quality and clarity using this scale as you can see uh, so here consider including important keywords uh, personality traits so outline builder automatically create document heading I could just check this and could uh, start writing as you can see there is this uh, structure and there is this step by step uh, writing of the uh, let's say each paragraph and it gives you the feedback immediately whether you accept or you do not accept this and this icon keeps telling you that it's working so you could just go sentence by sentence for each heading and subheading and then I could also see alternatives and then I can accept or see alternative etc so here this is how this uh, Jenny website or app works um, it is still not clear in terms of uh, the user interface and also it it, it may become a completely paid website uh, as you can see the upgrade function it will ask you again to pay 144 dollars per year and then we have another website which is a search database that's all, that is called uh, uh, sign napace or this is like uh, uh, like an abbreviation that is combined in one word here i could just uh, uh, search for this key term or keyword and i could navigate the literature it's like google scholar however it is providing more metadata like the authors their uh, order etc and the summary or the abstract and then the website the citation in multiple styles so it is like a google scholar alternative uh, we can also use it in this way as a search uh, engine to get uh, real uh, studies it is also similar to research gate in some case but maybe students may find it uh, overwhelming so this is this website it's also the impact factor it says so it is like google scholar 
then the, the last website is this uh, AI Detector Pro. So this website can also assist with the uh, uh, paraphrasing and detecting not only plagiarism, it detects uh, AI uh, percentage. There are sometimes ways for researchers not just to uh, copy and paste the results of AI into their papers because that will sound too artificial. So they need to uh, double check so their work would be uh, moving from that of a creator to that of post editor. So they will need to put their touch into it. They need to post edit the output. They need to make sure that it is accurate and it is their responsibility to verify this. AI can assist with this, but still they need to uh, double check the output for more accuracy. So this website can assist with that and it will help you detect and also paraphrase content that is generated by AI and it gives you different alternatives as an assistance for you to post edit your output. So these are the websites. I hope that you like one of them. You can just post the one that you like the most below in the comments. And if you have questions or remarks, also you can post them and see you soon. Bye for now.